What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys have given me so far. I really appreciate that. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing the video. That gives me a lot of motivation to keep going. Now, for today's recipe, what we're going to be doing, it's we're going to be making a boneless kadai chicken. One of the easiest recipe you can make if you have family and guests coming over. If you want to make the boneless kadai chicken, it's a recipe that you can get done with like 15-20 minutes max. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. Alright guys, so what I've done is I've taken some boneless chicken meat. Um, I'm using the leg meat. Leg meat has that tendons in there. And uh, when you're making kadai chicken, it actually traditionally is made with the, the leg meat. Uh, I'm using boneless, skinless uh, uh, leg meat. Now, a lot of the time when you see the kadai chicken, um, they don't like to marinate the chicken. For my recipe, I love marinating chicken before I go ahead and deep fry it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lot of, lot of ginger paste. Um, I'm using fresh ginger paste that I'm going to use for marination. And with ginger paste, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add just a tiny bit of Kashmiri chili. So I'm adding only one spoon of Kashmiri chili. And we're going to go ahead and, um, and marinate this and let it sit for about, about just five minutes or so. Alright guys, so after five minutes, once the chicken is marinated, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the chicken... And we're going to go ahead and deep fry the chicken now. Make sure when you're pouring your chicken in, if the oil is hot, make sure you be very careful with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my chicken in there. And we're just going to go ahead and deep fry the chicken for about one and a half minutes. Um, or until the chicken changes the color of it. Alright guys, so as you can see our chicken is cooked. Now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and remove the chicken. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of one pan recipe. So the, the recipe for today, it's also going to be a one pan recipe. I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken out from the kadai. And then the tail we have, or the oil we have, we're going to go ahead and use the oil uh, to make the gravy out of it. Alright guys, so I've taken my chicken out of the oil. Now what we're going to do in the same oil, we're going to use about one and a half spoon of jeera. Jeera is cumin seeds. And we're going to let the jeera crackle. Once jeera has crackled, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add onions in there. Now the reason why I always do one pan recipe is anytime you're cooking any of the food, a um, lot of the time there are a lot of lot of um, uh, spices that's left behind in the pan so by doing the one pan recipe we make sure that uh, the spices and all the masala that's left in there we maximize all of that masala and it gives you a different flavor when you're using the same uh, cooked masalas now my jira is crackled at this point what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add some onions in there uh, about one and a half uh, onion that's roughly chopped so I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, and golden fry the onions alright guys so our onions are golden fried uh, now what we're gonna do is at this point I have about three chilies that's roughly chopped I'm gonna go ahead and add three chilies in there and uh, with that I'm gonna go ahead and add tomatoes to it I have three big tomatoes that I have roughly chopped as well and um, what we're going to do is we're going to cook the tomatoes. We're going to completely cook them. And we're going to try to make gravy out of the tomatoes. Um, we're going to make sure it gets smushy. Until then, we're going to keep cooking it. Um, and to speed up that process, so anytime you guys are cooking uh, tomatoes, and if you want to speed up the process of cooking tomatoes, uh, what you need to do or what you can do um, is you can add some salt to it. Now, if you remember when we were marinating the chicken, we didn't add any salt. So now we're going to add salt, enough salt for the wages we have added and for the chicken as well. Now we're going to go ahead and add uh, some salt and we're going to let this cook for about a minute or so or until the tomatoes have uh, become smooshy. Alright guys, so as you can see our tomatoes have become very smooshy. 
Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some spices to it. So, this recipe, very simple. The only spices we're adding is we're going to go ahead and add some dhania powder. Now, with dhania powder, we're just going to add a tiny bit of uh, uh, Kashmiri chili. You can use the regular chili if you want to. Again, for the people that I'm cooking for, they don't eat very spicy food. So I'm not adding a lot of the spicy chili in there, just adding regular Kashmiri chili for the color. And with that, uh, we're just gonna add, traditionally there is no haldi that goes in there, but as you know, I love eating haldi, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of haldi. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a good mix. And once we mix it, we're also, while we're cooking the, the spices, we're also gonna smush the tomatoes in there too. Um, this is going to be very quick. We're going to cook this on low heat while we're smushing the tomatoes and it should be done in about about a minute or so. Alright guys, so our tomatoes are smushed in and also our uh, spices have been cooked in there too. Now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to add our chicken in there, uh, the fried chicken that we had made. Now with that what I'm adding in there is I have um, I have yogurt um, I have just whisked the yogurt um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh yogurt to it and we're gonna give it a good mix and let it simmer for about five to ten minutes on a medium to low heat all right guys so at this point we're gonna add the finishing touches to the to the recipe what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some kasuri methi With kasuri methi, uh, we're gonna add a few more ingredients. So traditionally, the uh, kadai chicken is made very spicy. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of black pepper powder, just a tiny bit of crushed pepper, just for the looks of it. I'm gonna add a pinch of garam masala. just a tiny bit of garam masala now with that for the decoration i'm gonna add two green chili two whole green chili and we're gonna add a bunch of ginger uh, julians now i'm gonna save some of the ginger julians on the side uh, for the garnishing And then after we add this, we're going to give it a good mix. And at this point, what we're going to do is at this point, we're going to go ahead and cover this and let it cook for about, about 10 minutes on a very low heat. Uh, just so all the spices gets uh, gets mixed together so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff on a low heat and then let this cook for 10 minutes just to get the, uh, the spices mixed up I'm gonna cover it up and, uh, and let it get a dumb for about 10 minutes um, now one thing I'll tell you if you have people that doesn't eat very spicy food um, but you still want the authentic taste of karai chicken um, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, you can go ahead and add some heavy cream to it um, or some fresh cream to it and that would mild down the uh, that would mild down the um, the recipe without cutting the taste of it so I'm gonna go ahead and let it rest for about 10 minutes on a low heat and then we're pretty much gonna be all done all right guys so it's been about 10 minutes since we're letting it take a dump um, now what we're going to do, the last step we're going to do to the recipe um, is we're going to go ahead and add some uh, cilantro to it. Without cilantro, um, the Asian food is incomplete. So we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of cilantro to it. And again, it's freshly, uh, fresh, roughly chopped cilantro. <clears throat> After adding the cilantro, we're just going to give it a good mix. Um, let it cook for another one in one minute no more than a minute and then our food is gonna be all done now we're just gonna let the taste of cilantro get in the food uh, that's why we're cooking it for the rest of that one minute 
and then pretty much uh, that's it guys that's it the recipe is pretty much done all right guys so as you know the food is ready i do want to thank you guys for all the love you guys give me thank you so much for that keep liking sharing subscribing let me know what what you guys want me to make next video um until then the food is ready not waiting on you i'll see you soon